What's up, guys? We are in the midst of our unofficial guide to Wirecast. If you're following along with the book, you know it's time to talk about recording video with Wirecast. So recording video is very similar to live streaming video. It is managed in an output area, and it has a slightly different recording notification inside of Wirecast, which we should take a peek at. Now, in the output settings area of Wirecast, you know that we can add a record to disk option. And I want to go over a couple of the different options available. We can record to disk with an MP4, which is probably the most popular way. Uh, but we can also record to disk in MOV and Windows Media File. Now, when you record in MOV, you're getting ProRes, which is awesome but you are getting uh, very high file sizes. And that, that can be a problem um, if you can't fit. I mean, if you live stream for an hour, you could get 100 gigabytes of, of, of recording. So be careful with that. MP4 is a much lower bit rate. You can see the bit rates that we talked about. Bit rates apply to both streaming and recording video. So it does kind of represent the quality level there. So we can actually set up a preset uh, for, so let's say high quality MP4. We can set up MP4, a really high quality preset. Uh, and we can basically uh, put whatever we want in here. We can choose our encoder. We can cho choose the frames per second. And for me, I'm going to do 12,000 kilobits per second, which is a really high quality. Um, and we can choose, you know, a quality level here. Um, we can choose the keyframes. Most of this you don't have to worry about. And then when we save it, we can now select it as our high quality MP4. Now, I'm just going to edit this really quickly. Um, and I'd like to change the name just because when you do this, you should put the bit rate. So high quality MP4, 12 megabits per second. Just so if, if you need to go back, you know what you're doing. So 12 megabits per second. You see how you might even want to follow the way that Wirecast does it with the um, parentheses around it to show all the information. But I'm surprised that like a 12 megabit per second isn't a default here because, you know, you might want to do a little higher quality than what you're streaming in. Again, if you're streaming, you probably want to stream in like a bit rate that your computer can handle and your upload speed can support, but then you can record in a higher quality locally on your hard drive so that you can upload that to YouTube or Facebook and be a little higher quality, won't have the same issues possibly with hiccups with the public area internet and streaming and encoding. So that is how you would start your stream, okay, or start your recording, sorry. And once that is done, you can hit the record button there. And essentially, that record button is going to be your notification of what's going on. And as you know, we have a button for streaming. We have a second button for recording. So you may want to record just short clips. And again, clicking on, clicking off, that it start, restarts the recordings and allows you to quickly start and stop recordings inside of Wirecast. It really is that easy. Um, so we went over some of the different recording presets that you might want to set up for your recordings inside of Wirecast and why you might want to record and stream at the same time with Wirecast. That's kind of why there's two different notification buttons there. And if you have any questions, let me know. We're going to keep trucking along in our unofficial guide to Wirecast. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and we'll keep trucking along on this journey.